I've been talking over this matter of miracle and signs, or let me call it, discoveries. And I've been trying to let you see why you should know that God is a giver of signs and it is the only way, or let me say, one of the ways reliable in which God has given man power to resolve his own problem. America is a developed continent. Go back history. They were never there when they started. Things was not the same it is right now for them when they started. But they got to where they are today when people begin to embrace me to discover and find solution to their problem above need for them to go pray for change of nation. In fact, at the time in some country, religion was declared and banned. That to me is too extreme. I'm not encouraging that we ban religion. But I'm saying that led to a lot of development in their nation. Because at that point in time, people could not depend on God. They don't believe in anymore. They need to start depending on themselves in finding solution to their problem. Do you know God might have used that to even help them? Because by them coming to a town to say there is no God, therefore they have no other way of looking for help than for them to look in between and find help to their problem. And so God himself might have been the one orchestrating them for them to realize that I have given you something that you need to discover. And without you looking for it, you cannot find it. In Europe sometime, in their history, people believe that God is the only one that can make everything happen for them. And so, they don't even bother to do anything until the message that comes from the pulpit, from their churches, from their congregation changes and make people to realize service to humanity is a true service to God. That was the beginning of the change in Europe. America wasn't there the way you see it today. They got there because people abandoned the need to depend on deities and embrace solution for their problem. What am I saying? Do I say you don't depend on God? No. But I'm saying stop bothering God with your problem. Let us face our problem. Let us find our solution. Let us kill the message of miracle. Let the people know that God does not give miracle in solving national problem, individual problem. It is the hard work Research, discovery. You can pray for the blind to see. But how about we preventing anyone becoming blind? We can have to pray for the cripple to walk. But how about we vaccinating every child that they will not be able to be paralyzed in their lifetime? Yes, polio is no longer in history. It's no longer affecting any child in Nigeria today. Thank God for vaccine. But there are so many polio affected children that might have been prayed for, that might have been healed, no doubt. But consider that a child who was infected with polio and the child that will never even contact polio for, his rest of his, for the rest of his life. Which of you do you prefer? It is high time we kill the message of miracle. Then just imagine yourself that vehicle were never developed. Imagine that nobody research into jet and discover aircraft. Imagine that nobody discover the TV you are using to watch me, the laptop you are using to watch me, the phone you are using to watch me. The, just imagine. That nobody discovered the internet that you are using right now. The hour is now. We must change our message from the pulpit. We must tell people that it is not miracle that we exalt nation. It is the hard work of men in the place of laboratory and library that will make a nation become great. Those miracles are needed for you to be popular as a pastor. God doesn't need miracle to be God. He is God. Either he perform miracle or not. Harry Man is very good is valuable. I will continue on this topic. And I want to share this video. Invite as many as possible. Till next time we see you again. God bless you. Shalom.